Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. We are jumping in again. Let's take a look. I'm kind of just feeling like playing a character of my choosing this time around and I'm not quite sure who that's going to be. So let's just have a little look-see. Um, do, 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 do. do you know what? Let's just do an Eden run. It's a bit more boring, like, but I like Eden. Eden's fun. We haven't done Eden in a while. And we get uh, two items that I'm not particularly a big fan of, so we'll see. Do we? Yeah, we want to restart. I I'm not going to do a bunch of restarts, but I will take that. I will most certainly take that. Okay. Um, we got the glaucoma looking item, and we got death certificate off the bat, which I was not expecting. I don't really know what I want out of this, I'll be honest. Um, what's an what's an item that's just really fun to base a whole run off of? Um, by the way, the lag in here is extreme, <laughs> but that's just because there's a lot of items about. Um, what would be a really fun... I mean, obviously, C-section is just a lot of fun. We could take C-section. That's definitely top of my list as of right now. There's a lot of modded items that I could play around with as well, though, that would be kind of fun. Um, nothing particularly in here takes my fancy right now. That is a Dorm mimic. I can't believe you did that to me. How could you? <laughs> Why could Dorm mimics even spawn in here? That's just rude. Right, Sacred Orb would also be kind of a fun one. Glitched Crown could be good. We could just take a Glitched Crown. That would be, um, that would, that would create a pretty crazy run. Um, we got Ancient Revelation here. Uh, Grant's Flight. Um, Fire Rate, Spectral Tears. Um, that's kind of interesting. We've got an Invisible Item here. Uh, the Feather. Small Chance for Tears to Home. Interesting. I think Glitched Crown is probably top of my list right now. Probably top of my list. Uh, where is Glitched Crown? It's just over there. See, the problem I have here is how the fuck do I get to it? What's the best way around here? Let's go with Glitched Crown. I know we haven't really had a big look around here, but I genuinely think it's one of the best items we can take. Ooh, tears up off the bat as well. One of the best items we can take here to guarantee a good run. So, very much like it. Let's not get hit a load, but yeah, it's the first ever time I've ever started with Death Certificate. So, pretty awesome. Um, we got Rubber Cement here, which I think is probably... We've actually got the Bag of Crafting, which I think is probably the best idea for us right now. Uh, so, we go Cool Glasses, Cool Glasses, then Bag of Crafting. Okay, I need to get the timing right here. There you go. Bag of Crafting. I think Bag of Crafting's really good because it's going to allow us to create more items, which I don't know if the created items get glitched crowned. I would imagine they don't. But this is going to lead to a lot of items. A lot and a lot of items. Very, very happy so far. Troll Bomb there. No, thank you. So we'll take all of those. I haven't used um, Bag of Crafting in a long while, actually. Uh, we'll, we'll take that in as well. I like this, like, I, I can't remember the name of it now. It, it it reminds me of Glaucoma, the way that the item looks, but I know it's not called Glaucoma. Or at least I think it's not called Glaucoma, because there's already an item called that. But we'll, we'll see if they end up being glitch crowned, but I'd, I'd imagine they're not, <laughs> just because that would be a bit insane. But if they are, I'll be very happy. But yeah, I was going to take Rubber Cement, but then I realised we've got this item that makes the uh, tears, like, hold in the air. Which I don't think will work with Rubber Cement very well at all. I probably should have taken that for the double luck penny, but... I'll bring it in this instead. Get you gone. Dude, come on now. Taking quite the beating here. Right, uh, let's just do the boss. It's kind of funny how, like, so far, we've taken two very strong items here and seen absolutely no benefit come from it. And it's kind of annoying that we got this boss as well. If this boss kills me now, I'm going to be so upset. I don't think it will, because I've fought him enough times to be somewhat confident that won't happen. But honestly, I can't say for sure, just because of that attack. Okay, that was pretty good that you got, you got caught there. Dude, that attack... Fucks me up. 
Right, the second phase is a lot easier. <laughs> we do have good damage here as well. Just wherever he decides to throw his bomb. Certainly causes issues. Let's get the hell out of here. Not too bad. I kind of like having these tiers just around the field as kind of like mines for him to walk into. How are you not dead yet? There you go. Took a while, but we got there. And I kind of forgot this would be this. Um, this would be rotating. We want to get the wooden horn here, don't we? Um, breakfast, supper. I think it's supper, yeah. So it's supper, wooden horn. Nice. Gives us a black heart and some damage. I don't know how on earth that could be considered to you, uh, as a quality one, but I will take it. This is a lot of fun. We got we got a really interesting start to our run here. Really interesting start indeed. I like it. Get rid of that timer there. As for the question of the day today, wh why not do an Isaac related one? It's been a while. What's what's the best run you've ever had in Isaac? What's 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 your favorite run that you've ever had in Isaac? And if if you don't play Isaac, you just watch it. What's your favorite run that you've watched in Isaac? Right, so let's see. Yeah, I did think it would just give us an item. I was not expecting it to um estrogen up. That's pretty good. I was not expecting it to uh Ooh, actually, estrogen up's kind of good, but also it's causing issues. Let's let you die a minute. You're not dying, sir. Okay, we got a lot of little beadies here. Come on, shoot, shoot at this little dude. I tried to kill him. I love I love my child, but honestly, he's causing lag. I want to get rid of him. There you go. He's gone. And he's out of here. Good, good. But yeah, what's your favorite one run that you've either had or seen? Also, how many of you that are watching here have been watching for a while, and how many of you are new? It's always interesting to see, like... Who's the new faces? Um, of, of course, most of you that are actually commenting are um, are regulars because people that comment are normally the people that are regulars. But those of you that are watching but haven't really commented much that are new to the channel, say hello. You've joined in the past few months or whatever. Ooh, we got a soiled heart. I think that gives us dips at the end of every room if we can keep it alive. So let's try and do that. We don't have a bomb for that, unfortunately. Quick, quick. Okay, stay away from these. Do these take two shots to kill? Wow. Hey, there's a bomb. We'll just uh, do that. Yeah, and we do get a dip at the end of the room. Soil parts are really good. <gasps> okay, y you know what it has to be here. Wood, pail. It's this thing, and then boom. Turtle baby. Gotta have him. It's literally me. How could I say no? How could I say no to such a fine young gentleman? Such a fine fella indeed. You've got to love him. Uh, one second. Let's keep her going. Let's keep her rolling. Yeah, got to, even though he's not that powerful, he's just good to have along for the ride. He really is. Oh, God. Don't, don't kill anything right now, turtle buddy. Oh, what? How has nothing died yet? This is so treacherous. Got him. That took a little bit of doing, but we got there. And then here... We've not really got anything good there. Um, I think I'm going to take Demon Baby. Yeah, I think I'm going to take Demon Baby. Nice. 
And then we've got some sort of geode thing. Massive amethyst. Shopkeepers in secret rooms are replaced by rune clusters. Blowing a rune cluster can drop three rune shards up to two runes. That's, that's pretty good, but we don't have a bomb to get that right now. But yeah, just, just to get closer conjoined, we'll take Demon Baby, but I'm not a, not a particularly big fan of those fellas. We didn't get anything amazing there. Today, I am in a good mood. I've been editing for, for work. I've been like editing clips of a wedding all morning, which is, it was fine. It was a bit boring, but it was fine. But it's like kind of puts you in a good mood. Seeing people all happy and stuff. It's nice. My god. We can knock you back and make sure you never move. Big fella. And then here we've got... We've got a few things I don't recognize here. So the soap box. Sour patch. Okay, we want the sour patch. It's after the soap box. Damn it. There you go, Sour Patch. Extra damage. Tier size down, which isn't that big of a deal. We'll stick with Angel deals for now. Let's carry on. But yeah, it just kind of puts, puts you in a good mood, seeing people all happy and smiley. I've just been like editing down videos of weddings and stuff. It's been a fine day. A fine day indeed. And then we don't know what we're getting here, but I see nine inch nails there. What? It's like the, the moon-looking sort of thing that we need to... Yes. I meant 8-inch nails, not 9. You know what I meant. We got it anyways. Oh, look at the baby nails. They're so small. It's so cute. We got little baby nails. But yeah, damage-wise, we're, we're looking really good right now. This, of course, with it being a... Um, with it being a run with the Glitch Crown involved. Very, very strong. Um... I'm trying to decipher what I see here. Jawburn. Don't know. Don't know. I think that's Gusty Blood. I think I'll try and take Gusty Blood. So it goes... Ball looking thing than Gusty Blood. Damn it. Bloody Gust. That's the one that I meant. You know what I meant. I think that was the right one to take. I think we got a good deal there. I also accidentally locked myself out with the lily pads again, as always. Yeah, I like this thing with the tiers hanging about. The more tiers, like the, the higher the tier rate we get, the more useful that's going to end up being. But right now it's pretty good. Also, I should be using my bag of crafting a little more often. We'll take one air was here. Let's see what we get. And the other one, of course, will go for a crawl space. Ooh, we got another, um, another interesting heart here. Nice crawl space. Just got a disc here. Yeah, this isn't really worth it for just a disc, I'll be honest. That's a lot of challenge to go through for one disc. God damn, these mushrooms are strong. Holy hell. That mushroom has so much health. Wow. Oh, we got one of the cursed dips. Nice. I love the fact that we can get the Fiend Folio dips in there as well. Oh, God. I did not... I was not ready for that. We'll take this key. Okay, let's be careful because we just lost a full... A full black heart there. I'd rather not lose my angel deal chance. Even though it is only meager. I would still rather not lose it. Right. You can do your little step steps. Your angry steppies. Your little water poops. Hey, we got a holy dip. Holy dip's the best one. Gives you a massive fire rate bonus while you're in its aura. Gives you homing. Gives you damage boost. It's just amazing in every way, shape, and form. Okay, well, this is good. I've got myself caught again, the Like, two extra hearts there. Interesting room here. Interesting to see what you got a deceiver heart there. Um, can I play this? Yeah.
And here we get... That's so good. Stat upgrade for every familiar we have. That's a huge stat increase. Like, it's an all stats up for every familiar you have, and we currently have quite a few. I don't know if each dip counts. Probably not. But that's still really, really good. Can you get to somewhere where we can actually hit you, please? This is bullshit. Here you go. Take the key again. That is, yeah, Mother's Love is a great item to get there. Considering it wasn't one that we chose as well, it's pretty crazy. And then, yeah, we can pick more familiars in the future to get even further stat increases. Bad hit there by me. Oopsie daisy. We got some sort of silver dip here. I don't know what the silver dip does. Okay, this guy, I still don't really remember how. Oh, he just popped up right under that red and destroyed himself. Um, I don't know what we've got going on here. Divorce papers. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And whatever this is. Laughing gas. I'm not quite sure what the laughing gas did. It gave me a fire rate increase, though, I think. Yeah, give me a fire rate increase. Right, we are good to keep on going. Health is definitely leaving a lot to be desired. But, otherwise, things are going pretty well for us here. This is quite the run. Honestly, just using this, like, having this dip and using it, like, utilizing it, it's fantastic. It's so good. I'll take the pill. Tears down? Heck. That's not what I wanted at all, but honestly, our tears are so good right now, I really don't mind. Also, this dip is, like, coordinating with me. He keeps going pr pretty much exactly where I want it to. Just stay in its aura, and we will kill everything very quickly. Ooh, we got a Beast Beggar. Uh, they are pretty cool, but we, we do need more Red Hearts to really be able to effectively play that and be happy with ourselves. Because that could cause some issues otherwise. Okay, ooh, how did I not get hit there? What the hell? God damn, we got a devil, a devil uh, dip as well. Honestly, these these spoiled hearts, or whatever you want to call them, I think they're called spoiled hearts, are very, very strong. Like, extremely so. We've got so many interesting dips going on around us. One of which being the Holy Dip, which is just insanely powerful. I still don't know what that silver one does. Um, we've got a stone one in there. I know what that does. But the silver one I'm unsure about. It's definitely a Fiend Folio one. And the only silver poop is the one that drops dimes that I know of. So maybe it'll drop a dime if it dies. That would be pretty awesome. Like, this is just... It's just crazy. Hey, half a soul heart. We'll definitely take that. The fact as well that the holy dip stays at the door when we enter, so we can just like walk with it. Mask of Infamy is really good. Clockwork is also really good. In fact, I think the clockwork is the one we want to take. Clockwork comes after Seraphim, I think. Yeah, it does. Okay. Clockwork. So that gives us rubber cement tiers, but it also gives us the extra damage tiers, which I think... All of which are going to be pretty useful. I also like the teeny tinies. Yeah, this is this is a very cool run we got going on here. Glitch Crown is always the item you should take if you get it early enough. Honestly. Such a fun item. Allows you to essentially... Um, draft your build. When there is no curse on the floor, uh, we gain stats. That's pretty good, considering there's no curse on the floor currently. Oh, we got another holy dip. Okay, yeah, this heart is absolutely broken. This spoiled heart is so crazy. Ooh, okay, you got transcended? What the hell? You got kind of transcended there. I'm not quite sure what happened. And our silver dip? Oh no, we, we just got another silver dip there. Frail. It's a weird room for frail, this. 
But now he's dead. Okay, we've got. Um, oh, I don't want the bag of crafting UI. F3, go away. We got. Whatever this machine is, spawns one random capsule for every five cent you have, spawns another. Um, okay, it doesn't matter about that. Speedball, Magic 8 Ball, Mr. Dolly, or Milk of Baphomet. Um, that's kind of interesting. Um, I think we're going to go for Mr. Dolly, though. Magic 8 Ball, then Mr. Dolly. Lovely. Nice. And then what we're going to get in here? Well, there's Godhead, so we'll be taking Godhead. It goes... Okay. Thank you for my Godhead. Yeah, this is uh, ludicrous. And we get the common cold. Not bad. I'll take a bit of poison. Why not? And away we go. This run, this run has really become quite beautiful, hasn't it? It has really become quite beautiful, hasn't it? I quite love it indeed. Yeah, they just kind of ascend enemies every now and again, by the looks of it. I mean, we don't really need to use the power of our of our holy whis holy dips now, but you still gain the damage and you gain the ability to negate damage while you're in them, the masculine infamy effect. So it is still useful, but we've got the herming now, so that 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 part doesn't matter as much. Leech, quite lovely. Like myself some leech. God damn. We are wrecking through this run. Dun, ba, da, dun, dun, da, da, da. Honestly, the Godhead aura with the item that makes the uh, tears hang in the air a bit. Really good combo. Really good combo. So it just means you have these Godhead auras just kind of chilling. And I very much like that. Well, I did get hit there, unfortunately, but I don't think I can lose my soiled heart very easily, so I don't really mind. We have unfortunately lost our holy dips though now. They are they have perished. But I wasn't expecting them to last forever, so I don't mind too much. We're still very, very strong even without them, so. Who really cares? Ooh, tinted treasure room here. Um wonder what this could be. Slippy's guts. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Um, tears down, tears surrounded by a static. Yeah, we'll take that, definitely. Now, this does, I think, remove herming. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, it does remove our herming, but, as you can clearly see, something else in store is much better. But, and also, with the tears hanging around, this is even more synergistic. Very nice indeed. Um... Not exactly sure what I want here. Bad options, evil sticker. I guess I'll just take tarot cloth. Actually, I'll take spider mod. Why not spider mod? That comes after the hook. Yeah, it definitely comes after the hook. Spider mod. Why not get some health bars going? But yeah, I like this. Definitely different than Godhead, but very good. I didn't realize I picked up all pennies then. Yeah, look at that. With them with them hovering in the air, that's super useful. We've not found our item room yet. Let's go and see if we can find that. Here it is. If we can get a key here, that'd be great. Just a heart. Let's do a little more exploring, see if we can get a key. Because item, item rooms are just so valuable for us right now, we really don't want to skip them if possible. 
some reason I uh, I can't move while holding tab. Normally you can. I love this. What a cool item. This is one of the items I was actually going to take from um, the death certificate room, so pretty cool that I ended up getting it. We, we, we took it last time and I really enjoyed it, so... There's a key. <laughs> Thanks. We did get a key in the end. Not really what I was hoping for, though. Now, absolute gamble is secret room here. It is. That was incredibly lucky. <laughs> wow. Okay, um, Nugget really isn't what we want. We want to get the, uh, the badge. F3 to hide that. So after Nugget comes the pride pin. Pride pin. Pride pin's basically just a bunch of uh, retribution tier effects. It's like the fruitcake or three dollar bill of retribution. It's very good. There's a reason it's quality four. Hello, bicycle boy. <laughs> oh, yes. And then here, um, I think we probably want the paddles, whatever they're called. Defibulators. I can't even say that word. Why? The defibs. Every other room we get bonus damage. Pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. I quite like what we've got going on right now. No curse again, so we gain some stats. Oh, hello. I didn't realize there'd be more. Sadly, I can't put uh, a trinket in my uh, pocket. Suicide King. I think I'll suck that up. I didn't mean to suck all those up, but I did. Got an ethereal sack here as well. Doubles the number of health bombs. Uh, no, thank you. 10 times damage until the first time you fire in a room. Sounds pretty good to me. Basically, every single first shot is going to deal insane damage. Oh, that's actually insanely good with this. I didn't even think about that. The aura size is huge. Yeah, that's just going to make the, the, the aura size of the first shot massive. So we really want to be missing with that shot. <laughs> That's so cool. That's amazing. What a cool synergy. I'm loving this. Damn it. Shot it straight into a wall that time. Didn't go quite over quite so well. Look at that. <laughs> Just rapid fire. Wow, yeah, was not expecting this. Very much love it. I bet with, like, flies, this would break the game really bad, wouldn't it? Because you could just not fire and your flies would deal insane damage. What we got here, then? So we got... Let's have a look. Mad Onion. Tears to do extra damage have all special effects removed. Um, shoot a barrage of five tears that deals a third of your damage. That's pretty good. Uh, picking up a red heart, 50% chance for a bonus heart. Chance to fire a tier that does 1.5 damage. Ooh, yeah, we'll take silver silver flesh. And that's after the crossed heart, isn't it? Yeah. There you go, silver flesh. Really good there. Yeah, shouldn't be too bad. Ooh, I just walked right into that guy. Where's my green dude? There he is. Oh, fuck's sake. Can you stop, sir? Can you stop? Good. All right, hopefully we get quite a lot of soul hearts, but I doubt we'll get many, because the tears themselves aren't doing much of the killing. Let's be honest. Okay. 
tears themselves aren't the main killing factor most of the time. Probably should have picked up those bombs because I didn't have any. Oh well. Oh my god. What a cool item. Oh, we did get some we did get some hearts dropped here. Okay, this 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 could have us with quite a few then actually. My god. Come into my web. Not much else needs to do this floor. Yep, that's a lot of damage. There's a soul heart and a half soul heart. Give me that. Check what's got, got what we got going on here. Ram's head, explosivo, good. Belly jelly, the happy sack, rogue planet. Nothing amazing there. Um, we've got the sci-fly here. I think I think sci-fly. I don't know. Is sci-fly sci-fly is definitely the the best, but is it the most interesting? Rogue planet we know, Pisces. Plus one look. 3% chance to fire a tier that transforms enemies into poop. Uh, poop tiers fire at slightly wonky angles. Hmm. I'll go with that. That seems interesting. Comes after Rogue Planet, I think. No, after Pisces. Yeah, after Pisces. Damn it. Cool. I just, I'm thinking, what if the aura works with it? What if the aura transforms them into poop as well? Because then it'll be insanely good. Where you at, big fella? There he rolls. There he rolls again. I wish I had bombs to destroy all the rocks in the middle. They're quite the inconvenience. Also, having rubber cement here ended up being really good because it means that our ores are staying in the air a lot longer when they hit walls. They're not just immediately disappearing. Okay, he's transforming things into poops. I just saw it work. This is so cool because we can just basically leave like a bunch of tears hanging in the air near each boss spawn and essentially everything just dies. So we like do this, leave a bunch of tears here. Although the tooth tiers don't really work for this. They have very short range. Leave a bunch of tears there. Leave a bunch of tears there. Hey, you bought some rocks for me, thank you. And yeah, this is just perfect. You just we just gotta leave as many tiers as we can on screen for when they spawn. And they will take care of everything for us. Pain, if you'd like to jump out the ground, please, and stop wasting everyone's time. Thank you. We got a lot of bees there for some reason. I'll take some bees. This has certainly been an intriguing run. Our aura does quite a lot for us here. <laughs> it's literally just not even moving. Just, just kind of going back and forward here we also got pop which i'm gonna take it might ruin things it might be really good i think it's gonna be really good because that means tears hang in the air for even longer now <laughs> oh my god just enemies are having a seizure right now yeah they seems to hang in the air for even longer whoa that's a lot of soul hearts and then I think we go with a pin shot, right? Pinhead. Which comes after Book of the Dead, I think. Yeah. Who you call it, Pinhead? Right. That was pretty easy. <laughs> Let's go. We got a lot of health out of it, too. Right. Let's keep destroying things. I forgot about our large tier because I hadn't seen it in a while. Ne the literally only thing that could make this better than it already is is piercing. 
Because then piercing mean, means the tier wouldn't get destroyed. Uh, and spectral as well, so it could go over rocks. That was a bit, a bit stupid of me there. Look how big that pin is. Make sure we've got our four keys. In fact, we probably need more than four because I think we're going to do the hush. Ow. Yeah, we're sending things to poop pretty regularly. Wasn't expecting that, but I'm very happy with it. Very happy with it indeed. I need to be picking some more stuff up with our uh, bag of crafting when I can. The rogue planets are here. Don't need bombs at this point, really. I'm not going to be looking for secret rooms anymore. Mainly, I just look for secret rooms early to get like a head start. Ooh, thank you for Mum's underwear. So good for us. key in here as well. Definitely take that. We need to get up to seven keys, I think it is we need. Yeah, not, you're not living long once you escape his corpse. Don't worry about that. Oh, I accidentally picked up those bombs. It's fine. Yeah, the poop thing seems to trigger off of the uh, aura. Which I very much like. Was not expecting, but I very much like. Same with the soul hearts too, although we're seeing that a lot less often. Right. First boss. We got the eye guy. You you've really fucked up here, dude. This animation that you've uh, this animation that you've played has really screwed you up. Cat and nine tails there, we'll take that. That comes after Mum's lipstick. Yeah yeah. And then, I think we go for the crown here. What, what does this do? Give piglet rewards at the start of the floor based on how many rooms you haven't cleared on the previous floor. It's kind of interesting. Trisagian, no. Holy Grail, no. So it's after Holy Grail. Crown of Light. Because that's going to double our damage. So our first shot fired is now this big. <laughs> it is literally covering the entire room. Beautiful. Truly. <laughs> Look at that. One tier is all it takes. So we'll come back. We don't really need that. Ow! There was a troll bomb there. I didn't see that. Ah, what the hell? That one disappeared. I think it's because we have the tooth shots going on. What an amazing combo we've got going on right now. Everything just perishing immediately. What up, boss man? He's going to be bouncing off enemies too, which is even better. Hello. Hello, Hushy Hushy. I wonder how how quickly Hushy's going to die. It's going to be interesting to see. Right. For the item rooms here, we've got... I don't really know what we want to take here. Probably the tank bros, because they're fun. It's after Plumber's Cap. And then out of these ones... Duh, duh, duh. Crooked Penny's pretty good. Probably take Pentacles here. PhD and then Pentacles. Nice. And in here we've got... Some things that are costing 10 for some reason. Dull Razor, Stained Shard, Steam Sale. I don't think any of these really matter to us, do they? Let's just buy a key. Open up some of these chests. We got a baleful heart here. I'll take that. A lot of cool hearts going on right here. Strength will just take him with us.
Do we have anything else we can uh, swipe up? Oh, we got an item here. Hello. What we got going on? Um, keep a sack. The placard could be pretty good. Handicap placard. The battery. Um, enemies inside it are weakened. Yes. Let's 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 do that. It's after the battery, right? Yeah, it is cool. I know that we're getting rid of the um, thingy now, but I think I'm okay with that. And then here, I think I just want Squeezy. Thank you. Right. Place that down here. Strength card. Yes. <laughs> yes. This is going well. <laughs> the damage numbers on him. I'm really glad we picked up Spider Mod just to see that. Who knows how, how much the placard is actually doing for us right now. Either way, he's going to die pretty fast. Literally the only thing saving him is him going under the bloody ground. Literally can't even see the floor because there's just that much fuzz going on. There you go. He didn't even get to fire, really. I'd call that a great success. I think we have to go and do Delirium at this point, don't we? I mean, we could... No, no, no. Let's, let's do the normal floor. And we'll see if we get Delirium. Because we do have a... We do have... Um, wait, do we have key pieces? I thought I had the key. I have one of the key pieces. Um, give key piece two. There you go. We'll, we'll do Mega Satan. Oh, there was a key there. We'll take that. Um... Something hit me there. Do not know what. Oh, things survived there? What the hell? It's a miracle. Things surviving this onslaught. Never have I seen such slander as enemies surviving my attacks. <gasps> Eternal Heart there as well. I love the way Eternal Hearts look. They're so cool. And we pop all of you. Don't even need to look at you. Cool guys don't look at enemies dying. What are you saying? Put the placard down. <laughs> Not that I really needed to. But I did anyways. Right. Mega Satan, you are going down. Right, what we got here? So, we've got... We've got the, the rockets. I don't know how that would work with what we've currently got going on, but I don't want to try it. So I'm going to take Jacob's Ladder instead. I think it came up the ear. And then here we've got... Worm friend that comes after the jar. And then here we've got Nord Leaf, which te technically could be really good. Not that we need it, but the new D10s there as well. I think it came after rocket bombs. Yeah, it did. Right, let's go find the actual boss first and see if we get a void portal. Damn. I'm so glad I took um, Glitch Crown. Because this has become something quite insane. One of the most powerful runs I've had in a long while. 
It's easy to forget your old powerful runs, but goddamn, this one takes the cake. This one's really something. Everything else dead? I see that you're not dying yet. I'm not exactly sure why that is. There's a little dude sat behind him. There you go, we finally got him. Took a bit of time. Hey, we got a bunch of soul hearts there as well. Quickly just go back and open our last chest. Bunch of mini Isaacs for me, why not? This is not the way that we came. <clears throat> the death animation is longer than his actual life. We got whatever this is. Reflux. Upon releasing the shoot button, all tiers currently older than 10 frames will explode. Eh, I'm not really that bothered about that. Oh, I took it anyways, doesn't matter. That's pretty cool. Basically, we can, like, stack up our craziness and then go boom, blow it all up. Halving a fire rate, I have to say, wasn't a good idea, though. I say half. It, it way more than halved it. We went from, like, 6 to 1.4. That's not what I would call half. Where are we going now? I've got lost. gotten lost. Can't remember we ha where we I can't remember where we have and haven't been. Just keep it going. Okay, we haven't been this way yet. I mean we're still just as strong, like don't don't fret. Don't worry. Not quite the insanity that it was before, unfortunately. How are you still alive? I don't know what to think of that room. I don't want to fall in the pits. <laughs> Everything's death animation is causing us to like stay in rooms way longer than we have to. Hello, blue baby. The explosions are pretty damn good, I'll say that. No void there, so let's uh, go and do our mega certain fight. I don't want a death card. I want my strength card back. Oh, the falling holes in the floor. I don't want to risk it. Right, can we remember which way it is to get home? I think it's just right from here. Yeah. Okay. This should be a piece of piss. Ooh, we got the pin set up. You realize you're going down, sir, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I just love it when some of the enemies spawn and then insta-die. In come the angels. Not that they get to do much. And you're on to second phase already. <laughs> wow. What the hell is that grey bar? We broke everything so hard as a weird grey bar on the screen, right? I'm going to pop all these as he pops up and see how much damage it does. Once he's uh, taking damage. Y'all ready for this? 
Yeah, that did a lot. <laughs> Holy hell, the explosions are insane, actually. I'm not sure what's better. The um, the lasers or the explosions. Both of them are very strong, but goddamn. Explosions do a ton. I think they break boss armor, can Ah, no void. But still, very fun run. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.